Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a 2D graphic in Photoshop, make it 3D, and then import this into Adobe Dimension. Rightio, so well, we're actually going to start in Illustrator. This isn't part of the script. I know, you don't have to, you can go straight into Photoshop if you have a graphic, but I don't. So I'm going to grab this vector graphic here. This is of course the PlayStation logo. Very topical at the moment. Thoughts on the PS5? Let me know down in the comments. So we're going to jump into Photoshop and I'm going to go edit and paste. And I'm going to paste this as a shape layer. Click OK. Uh, that's my color, so it's coming in as a very, very light blue. So I'm just going to make that black very quickly. There we go. And I'm actually going to scale this up as well. And once you have your graphic at a size that is clearly visible, we're going to need two panels in particular. So let's go up to Window. We're going to need the 3D panel and the Properties panel. And when you go into this next step and make this a 3D object, Photoshop will often ask you if you'd like to switch to the 3D workspace, which is quite helpful. And we have that there. Okay, so with our layer selected, let's go to 3D at the top. And we'll go New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. Photoshop will do its thing. And there you go, we can spin this round and we have this 3D object. And we've got some controls along the top here so we can orbit, rotate and pan around and look at this from different angles. But let's go over to those panels. So we have the 3D panel here and the properties panel. I've got mine docked here because I use them quite often. And in the 3D one, we get lots of different options. There are so many different options here. We can select different parts of the shape. We can adjust lighting. I'm not gonna to go too in depth with that here, but essentially whatever you select in here becomes relevant for the properties panel. So by default, we get this. The main thing we're going to focus on for this quick tutorial is the extrusion depth. So there you go. You can adjust how far this extrudes backwards or forwards. I'm gonna keep this pretty light. And then once you've created a 3D version of your 2D graphic, you can go up to 3D and down to export 3D layer. Now there's a number of different formats that Dimension supports. Some of the most common 3D formats are OBJ and .fbx, which isn't listed here, but the one I've had the most success with is STL. So let's select this. We can leave the sizes as are because it's a 3D object, so we can scale it to any size without a loss in quality. Let's click OK. We need to specify a file name and location. So I'm going to call this PS, save that. I'm then going to hop over into Dimension. And if we go up to File, I know we're finally here. We can go to Import 3D Model, select ps.stl or whatever your file is. And we can press F to zoom to the selected object in the scene. We can rotate this around. And there we go. We have the PlayStation logo in all its glory in 3D in Adobe Dimension. And I'm just gonna move this into the middle, click render, and you can see how it looks. And there we go, so that's how to turn 2D into 3D with Photoshop and then bring that into Adobe Dimension as a 3D model. As always, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.